Now in my growing up years as a teenager, I have ended up declaring this person to be the one, that person to be the one. I've declared so many people to be the one for me. But is there really such a thing as the one? Let me give you an example. Say Joseph is meant to marry Mary. Then you also have two other persons like Zach and Elizabeth who are supposed to be each other's the one. What happens is that Joseph decides not to marry his one, Mary, and ends up marrying Elizabeth instead, which is the one for Zach. So it all takes one person and everyone in the world will not end up becoming or end up marrying the one that they are supposed to be with. So I think it is impossible to find the right one. But here's the good news. I think it is very possible to become the right one. I want to share with you three very practical tips on how to go about becoming the right one while waiting to marry. The first one is that I think we need to understand that there is a season to date. See, most of us here, we will get married at about 29 or 30 years old. And if you want to start dating at 15 or 16 years old, that means dating for 14 to 15 years. Now, it's a long time to date, so many temptations to go through. Worst of it all is that you still are not sure of the person that you are becoming. And if you are not sure of the person that you are becoming, how do you know which person you are supposed to be with? You gotta know who you are becoming. Then, you can start looking for the right person. Now, second thing is that I want you to consider um, how it is important for you to have the spiritual covering of your parents or your spiritual leaders. You want to make sure that you have spiritual covering, people praying with you, people advising you, people ensuring that you are on the right track towards godliness and dating for a godly marriage. And finally, you want to start thinking about whether you are spiritually mature for a relationship. And if you're not spiritually mature as an individual, how do you do life with someone and lead that person to godliness? Get our own lives sorted and right with God before we involve someone else in our lives. So in summary, I think it is impossible to find the right one, but I think it is absolutely possible to become the right one. So become the right one.